In this video, we will learn about optimization, which will be learning how to find the absolute maximum or minimum of a function. And as always, we will see examples about this related to business and economics. Let's start looking at this example. So suppose this is the profit function and you want to maximize it, right? You want to find uh, the number of units you need to sell so you obtain uh, the most profit possible, right? So a good start would be to find the relative maximum on this graph, right? So for this, remember that we looked for the marginal profit and then we saw where it was equal to zero. So in this case, this, would, this method would give us three points. This one, this one here, and this one here. At all these three points, we obtain that the derivative is equal to zero. Here and here we have some relative maxima and here we have a relative max minimum. So we want to study a method that in the end shows us that this one is the maximum profit. Right? This one is the absolute maximum we're looking for. So let's see how we can find it. So let's start giving the definition of what we're looking for. We're looking for absolute minimum and maximum. So we say that a value f of a is the absolute maximum of the function if that value f of a is greater or equal than any other value of the function for all x in the domain or the interval where we're interested in. In the same fashion, we can define the absolute minimum as a value of the function such that the, the value f of b is less or equal than any other value of the function. So let's try an example. Here we're given that the total revenue in thousands of dollars is given by this function here, 20x minus 2x squared minus x cubed thirds. And where x is the number of hundreds of units sold Per day. Okay, so we're only given that we can only say 400 units every day. And given these restrictions, we want to find the number of units that must be sold to maximize the revenue. So in this case, we want to maximize this function here. Let's see how to do this. So this is our revenue function and the restriction of the problem says that x can be between 0 and 4. Remember, x measured the units in hundreds of units, so 4 corresponds to 400 units. Having said that, we want to maximize these functions. We want to find uh, the number of units we need to sell to obtain the maximum revenue possible. So how do we start this problem? So your first step should always be to find the critical values of the function, which is the values where the derivative is undefined or it's equal to zero. So let's find first, we find the derivative of our function, which will be 21 minus 4x minus x squared, and we want this to be equal to zero. And to solve this, one way is you can use the quadratic formula, but if you prefer, you can also factor this expression and you will obtain seven plus x and three minus x equals zero. So from this, we obtain that the Critical values are x equals minus 7 and x equals 3. So this should be always your first step. You should find the derivative 
of the function you want to maximize or minimize and then use it to find the critical values. Now that you found your critical values, you need to decide whether they are relevant to our problem or not. So, for example, x equals minus 7 is not between 0 and 4. And why is this important? Because we're being told that x has to be between 0 and 4. So this case won't appear. So this critical value is not relevant to our problem. On the other hand, x equals 3 is between 0 and 4. So this critical value will be relevant to our problem. The third step should be to decide where is now the absolute maximum or the absolute minimum. In this case, we're trying to find the absolute maximum. So this third step will vary depending on your problem. In this one, we will use what is called the closed interval method. So, which as the name says, can only be used when you're working on a closed interval. So, in this case, the fact that we're working between 0 and 4 is relevant to use this method. We will see the steps for this method in the next slide. So, the closed interval method says that if f is defined over a closed interval AB, so this is important when using this method, then we can find the absolute maximum or absolute minimum following these four steps. So the first one is to find the critical values and see which ones of those are relevant. So that is what we already did and we found that it was x equals 3. Then we need to evaluate our function at the relevant critical value. Following that, we need to evaluate our function at the endpoints of the interval. So that is at x equals a and x equals b. That will give us a list of values, right? And the largest of those values obtained at step 2 and 3 will be the absolute maximum. And the smallest of the values found will be the absolute minimum. So let's see it, what happens in our case. So in our case, our function is r of x, which is this one here, and the interval was, remember, zero between, x between 0 and 4. So in our case, a will be 0 and b will be 4. So we need to evaluate our function at x equals 3, x equals 0 and x equals 4. At 0 this is 0, at 3 this is 36, and at 4 this is 30.67. So we have these three values and the closed interval method says that the largest of these values will be the absolute maximum. So in this case, this is the absolute maximum. So going back to the original question, we need to find the number of units that must be sold to maximize revenue and we found that the number of units is 300. Remember we obtained x equals 3 but x is measured in hundreds and what is the maximum revenue? The maximum revenue was we obtained that it was 36 
but the dollars here are measured in thousands of dollars, so the maximum revenue is thirty six thousand dollars.